Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LGGM007 and today we're looking at the Spellbooks plugin. So this is a really awesome plugin which allows your players to craft spells to use against their enemies, mobs and even to benefit themselves. So there's a few examples here, we've got a freeze fire spell, lightning teleport water and if we use the lightning one for example against this poor rabbit he will be shot by lightning out of nowhere and he is no more. So that is an example of what you can do. We will look at the others in a little bit, but first we need to show you how to get them. Now you can either get them via commands, which is kind of cheating, and I will show you how to do that later, but you can also craft them using a kind of strange looking crafting area. And the way you create that is by making a five block cross of iron. Now in the middle of that you want to pop down an enchantment table and then you will see some really cool particle effects occurring above it. It will disappear and then you will get a bit of spell paper. So this spell paper allows you to craft a ton of different spells. Now if we do forward slash sp list this is going to list all the different spells. So you can see there's a long long list of them. And then if you do the sp recipes command that will show you all the different recipes and you can click any of these to see which one you want to use. So which one did we use earlier? It was the lightning one, although the jump one is crafted like that and lightning is glowstone dust. So if I grab some glowstone dust up here, there it is, pop it in my inventory and then go to a crafting bench where you can pop in the spell paper in the middle and put four glowstone dust around it and that is going to craft a lightning spell and then I could use it on some poor thing uh, other than the rabbit. Now there's a few other ones, so there's a jump spell. If I were to use this, I can now jump really high. There's a teleport spell, which is going to teleport me somewhere completely random, which is uh, sometimes helpful, I guess. There's the lion flame spell, which you can see is pretty crazy, looks very cool. There's the freeze fire spell and that is affecting all the mobs here and then there is the water spell so if we find some water you can see how slow i'm walking through it but if i were to use this spell suddenly i am ripping through the water at quite some speed and that will make it a lot easier to use so those are the traditional ways to get spells however if you do forward slash get and then any of these we could do the get jump spell and that will put it in my inventory you could get the fly spell and this allows me to fly. Now I've got slow falling for 12 seconds. And there we go, we are back down. So that is a really good example of how this plugin works. You can obviously check out all the different spells, see what they do, all the cool effects. And it just adds another feature. You know, maybe you've got an RPG server or factions and you want to make it a little more interesting with a plugin like this. So here we are on the Spigot page. You can see it's updated for 1.19. And you can see there's a little bit of information on here showing you in GIFs how the plugin works. You've got all the recipes here if you want to look at them for all the different spells and then the various commands to get each of them and the permissions if you only want certain people to have certain spells, you can do that. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.